Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to my Java game development series. So I'm bringing this episode a week earlier, and this is because I've actually changed the upload schedule of these videos. Before I was doing one video every two weeks, now I'm changing it to one video every week now. I'm planning to release it them on Saturday because that's a really good time to upload your videos because everybody's on the computer. Um, the reason for this is um, in my spare time I'm always coding this game and if you think I'm coding every day um, in my spare time there's got to be a significant change and yes there is and that's why um, by the end of the week um, my game is actually video worthy to show the updates of it. So yeah that's why I'm changing the upload schedule of it. Also it benefits you as well um, because you guys actually really enjoy this series. I saw all the responses in the pilot episode and you guys want more and more and more. So um, yeah it benefits you and it benefits me too because I love showing the development of this game off to you guys. Also me coding it. I just love to keep coding this because it's so it's just, I don't know, you can create anything. I love creativity, but let's not go too far into my personal likings. Um, let's get into the video today. So what I'm going to be going over in this video today is the differences since the last episode, new ideas that I've came up with, and then the features that I've added since the last episode. So don't get mixed up with differences and new features, um, because differences are just changes and then features are additions. So the differences from the last episode is the map. So before the map was static and the player moved around and static means um, staying still and then the player just moves around it. Now the player is static and the map moves around. This allows me to create a bigger um, area. So if I had a town I could actually fit like 10 buildings on it with like a town center and everything like that. And that's what I plan to do, make like an awesome town. Um, but I won't get too detailed into um, the town stuff because I want to kind of keep that more of a secret but um, I might show it off in a later episode. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the differences um, since the last episode, it's just a change in the map. Um, new ideas that I have added to the game, oh well, not, not, not new ideas that I've added to the game, new ideas that I've thought of for the game is I want to add in building. So for building I'm going to um, be adding a dedicated building area and you're going to only be able to build in this area um, just because it's not a open free roam build game it's supposed to be like an RPG but I wanted to have kind of similarities to Minecraft in it because um, my, great, my channel is kind of mostly Minecraft and um, I wanted to release this game in the style of Minecraft but it's actually an RPG game well, similar similarities of Minecraft in an RPG game. Um, so also yeah building, you can have a build, a dedicated building area, you can craft blocks, um, you can like have chests and all that stuff. I know it really sounds like Minecraft but it's gonna be different, don't worry. Um, we're gonna have farming as well so you can create your own food on your own land, you can sell it um, to like a general store person or something like that so yeah that's gonna be a really cool idea. And then that's it for the ideas, but what I wanted to ask you guys, what ideas do you want it to be in the game? So I didn't want to make this game, I probably should have said this in the first episode, I didn't want to make this game all of my ideas, I actually wanted to add your guys' ideas into it too and give you some input to this series and the game. So go into the comment section below and tell me what you would like in this game because um, I might possibly add it if I actually really like the idea. I know I'm kind of choosing the ideas, but I don't want um, I don't want it to be like just the theme all over the place. I'm trying to keep a theme, so remember to keep it um, kind of RPG kind of theme, um, like olden days kind of like that. What you would think is in a typical RPG game, but try and think of something unique as well, because that would be. Um, the highlighting thing in my game if it's more unique. So yeah, go in the comment section below, leave a suggestion and I might possibly add it. Now let's get into the additions that I have added to this game. So you might be looking on the screen and there's actually an inventory slot at the bottom and there's a map um, border at the top right. So they actually do nothing at the moment, I just wanted to add it, add it in. So um, 
As you can see, I'm holding a sword. If I was going to be holding a sword, it would actually go in the inventory slot where my... Oh, I don't, I'm not sure if you can see my mouse or not, but it would go in that first slot there, and then if you scrolled, it would change the um, item. Um, I've actually added in new swords as well, so I've just added in this for the episode just so you can see it. So we got a wood sword, stone sword, gold sword, and an emerald sword. So, though, <laughs> again, they all sound like Minecraft materi materials, but um, they were the first ones I could think of. Probably because I've been influenced by Minecraft a lot. Um, but I'm going to add materials that aren't in Minecraft because I thought um, I, I don't want to make it exact. It's supposed to be similar. Well, not similar at all. It's just supposed to be influenced by Minecraft. Um, so, yeah, that's um, a new feature that I've added the the um, GUI at the front there and the bottom slots and the new swords. Now this is a big um, feature of the game that I've added and this is custom tile maps. Now this is a cool thing that I really want to show you guys. So as you can see right now I've got a lovely house right here. I've got doors at the front. I've got a stone path to a gate over here. A nice courtyard out here. Then we've just got flowers and we're surrounded by a fence. Now what I want to show you is how this map is actually created. Um, not the coding side, but the actual pixel map of this. So let me go into paint.net right now and I'll show you. So as you can see in front of me, this is the map I showed you. So we've got the house right here, we've got the courtyard with the rock paths, and then we've got daisies and rows everywhere, then we got surrounded by a fence. Now what my pro or what the um, game does, it uh, reads every single pixel on the screen here. So what we have is a 31 by 31 area here so that you can imagine that's a really small file and it wouldn't take long to scan through every pixel. But it scans through every pixel and it um, checks to see if... it checks the colour of the pixel and if that certain colour of the pixel is red, for instance, or it's technically... that's not really red for the um, program. It's It gets the RB RGB value of it might be going a little bit technical right here now because you guys wouldn't might not know what that means. Um, but it gets the RGB value of it and it gets the position of um, the pixel there. So let's say this pixel here is uh, actually two two. So at if the um, color is um, yellow at pixel two two, um, render a daisy there. So it's kind of really simple, but, um, well, here it's really simple, but in the coding it's more advanced. So what I want to show you is what happens if I uh, draw something somewhere else. So I've actually grabbed the uh, floor texture of the house here. So let's draw, like, a path around here, and I'll show you that um, it actually draws that path around. Oh, we'll just keep that anyway. It actually draws that path. <laughs> um, fail. It actually draws that path around the house. Now, I'll go ahead... I'll click save. Um, I don't have to change anything in the coding because um, it's already set up for this image. So I'll go back to the game right now. So as you can see, it has actually drawn that path around my house as I draw it in paint.net. And again, that's by that's because it's scanning every pixel and checking what color it is. And so if it's color, the color of um, the uh, path there, it will render that tile there. Um, this is kind of a really basic explanation of that. Um, I didn't want to go into anything detailed for you guys because I wanted to keep this um, more of a uh, non-programmers um, video series. So it's just basic explanation of it, basic explanations of it. Nothing advanced, so you guys can't understand what's going on because I wouldn't think that would be interesting if you don't know what it's doing. So I'm just keeping it really basic, and my voice is just going. My voice was just going really weird on my side. Probably you guys probably don't notice it, but it's going weird on my side. It's kind of going crackly. Um, but let's just ignore that. So yeah, that's the um, big change of it. I might just draw something else in just to show you guys. So let's go back to paint.net. So I'm back here, and I might draw something really awesome. So let's create a new pixel image. I might do a uh, just a uh, 40 by 40 because we don't want it too big. We'll go in there. And we need to copy exactly the same colours because I'm going to have to change a lot if we change the colours. So let's just create a grass tile, um, a grass map. And now what I want to do is I want to grab um, 
the fence right here, so let's grab the fence. And this, these two colors here are actually different, but they actually look the same, they're actually different. Um, so let's create a nice um, field, let's go across here, create a nice field there, and we'll create one there, oops, we'll create one there, going along there, and then one up, oops, one up there, we'll get the vertical fence here, because there's actually two different tiles, and we'll put that along there, and that one coming up there, then that one coming down. Then we need to grab the corner blocks of the fences, so they're, they're darker ones, we'll put them in there like so. Now we've created a little field here, we might put um, some roses in there. Bam! Like a little um, rose farm. We get some daisies too. Ah, oh, it's lovely. It looks lovely already, just this pixel. And then we'll actually, we'll get a gate um, for the fence. So that's the gate pixel there. Put that in like that, and that's a little gate. And then might grab some rocks here, just to lead a little path up to it, make it look all nice. So add in a little path. Just try and do it as best as I can. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, so now what I'll do is I'll go to File, Save As, and we're already in, I'll oh, go to Levels. We'll call this YouTube. Just because it's a test for you guys, so we'll go save YouTube, save it as a PNG file because that's the file I want. We'll go back into Eclipse right now, and if we go to um, my game class, this is this. Just ignore all the text on here. Just um, just have a look at the outcome of this. So if I change the start here to YouTube and save and hit run. Uh, we've got to find it. It's up here somewhere. <laughs> Come on, where are you? Uh, here we go. I found it. I found it. So we've created our little field here with roses and daisies in it. We've got our um, stone path coming up to it. So yeah, that's the really cool thing about um, this pic um, tile mapping with the pixel images. Um, you can actually create anything you want. It's practically like a little level editor in um, paint.net and um, if you guys like, if you guys know how to do this, you can actually um, change the maps around in the game. But I wouldn't recommend that you do it because it would be counted as cheating. Uh, I'm not sure how to like protect these files. I might have to stay the same. Um, but yeah, that's the um, new feature of this custom tile maps. And I'm gonna actually have to call this a video because I've got nothing else to show off. Um, you're gonna have to wait till next week. I, but don't worry, there's going to be a lot of new stuff um, next week. It's also going to be a special video for Christmas, I guess. I might do an extra long one, even though I think this video today was pretty long, in my opinion. So remember to leave a like, leave a comment on what ideas you think um, should be added to the game. And I'll see you guys for a another episode of this next Saturday. Bye guys, remember to leave a like again. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye